Hey everybody, welcome back to another first look. This is No Reload Heroes for the Nintendo Switch. I actually was able to say the name of the game right that time, so good job, Bill. Uh, I've been having trouble saying it. We just watched like this little cutscene that was intro and they've got creepy faces. They fell down on a thing, they picked up some guns, and I don't know anything about this game other than the fact that it is 99 cents on the Nintendo Switch eShop. And if you've got gold coins from buying other games, then you could pick this up for free, which I did because I heard I heard that it's a good game and it was really, really cheap. And I figured, why the hell not? I could at least do a first look and and uh, make a video about it. So let's look at what the controls are. So we've got move, aim. Oh, it's a twin stick shooter. OK, I like twin stick shooters. I'm a big fan. Uh, let's hit play and see what this game is like. I think we're going to be playing as those little little short guys down there. Oh, and then there's the yellow one up on top. Uh, if you did not know, I, re I record some of my first looks over at twitch.tv slash runjumpstomp, which we are live right now. People are watching. So press plus to join the game. Okay, move with the left stick, aim with the right stick. Done. Very bright colors. I... I like the bright colors a lot. Oh, I thought I was going to sneeze. Okay. Um, shoot with the R, Z, R button. Try it with the fence. Oh, okay. I can't go through the fire. Dash with the Z, L. Okay, cool. Level cleared. Okay, cool. Mephisto's minions. You've been noticed. All right, hold the A button to interact with things. Okay, we're going to have to we're going to have to shoot these things. I do like twin stick shooters. Now, my my question is because right before I started, somebody asked if this was a roguelike, and I wonder there's a new weapon. Uh, I wondered if um, every time I load into this game, then I'm gonna be in different rooms. Okay, so now I've got a shotgun instead of a machine gun. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Bring it, robots. Bam. All right, we're gonna kind of kite this guy a little bit. Don't know that I'm a fan of the shotgun. It's kind of slow. We'll pick up all this loot. Look at all that loot. I love loot. Here's the healing crystal. Can I can I just blow up stuff in the room? Nope. Uh, where's the... Here we go. Now, this is a four-player game, I'm assuming, because, um, like, at the at the loading screen, they showed, like, um, what is it? They, they showed, like, four different people. And let's grab that. I don't know what that is. Oh, cool. Okay, I like that better than the shotgun. Let's just test real quick. Aha! So now we've got two. I'm going to drop him back out. Disconnect. Uh, so this has uh, drop in and drop out, like right on the fly. I really love it when games have stuff like that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dash. Yeah, I like drop in and drop out. Uh, that, like, so, like, if I'm playing a game at, or my son's playing this and, like, I walk in the room and sit down, I can grab a controller and just start just start uh, playing with him. That's awesome. This is actually pretty cool. And I think that a lot of it depends on what gun you have. Because, like, some people are going to gravitate towards really, really powerful guns like the shotgun. Uh, myself, I prefer things that shoot really, really fast because my aim is not so good. Uh, vote for the next upgrade. Oh, wait a second. That's cool. So, we get to pick what the next upgrade is. But me and the other players all vote. I wonder if it's a tie what happens. 
Let's find out. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, because because he wasn't in the game, he uh, he can't vote. Okay, so I can either go move speed or more damage. And I think I want to go move speed because I feel a little bit sluggish and I'll be able to dodge bullets a little easier if I go with that. So next time I'm almost to level three, I'm going to watch over on... Let me move my camera out of the way. Uh, when I'm almost to level three... What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the other controller and we'll see what happens when when the votes are tied. Oh, wait, there's some there's some XP there. Do I need this? I'll grab it just in case. Yeah, this this looks like a really fun game with uh you know, four player. And I, I like this. I, I'm a fan of twin stick shooters and I'm a fan of roguelikes. And I get the feeling that this is also a roguelike. Alright, let's let's shoot this way. Get lots of bullets bouncing around. Let's shoot through or around stuff. I can bend bullets like Angelina Jolie. In that one bullet bending movie that I never watched, but you know, I was always kind of interested in. Don't forget you have a dash. So when they come in close, you can dash away, dash away, dash away all. Get all that loot. I do wish that the loot uh, had like a bigger radius. Perhaps that's an upgrade you can get later. Okay, I used my dash. Got them all. Alright, we got all the stuff. We got the fist. Oh, nice. Alright, we'll try that one. Is there anything else down here? There is not. I do wish that they had, like, treasure chests and stuff in these rooms for you to uh, try and loot. Man, that thing really has a kick. Oh, shoot. It almost got me. I feel like they have some kind of uh, aim assist going on, too. Look at that. There's a boss. Let's use the healing crystal. I don't know if I need it or not. I don't, I don't need it. And the damage crystal? What's that do? Damage crystals increase. Oh, at least until you get hit. Oh, okay. Okay. So it increased my damage until I take damage. Holy cow, this thing is fast. Use the terrain to your advantage, Bill. The sound of the weapons, like this fist weapon, is pretty terrible. Like, I don't like it when weapons don't sound awesome. Goodbye. What's this? Oh, look. It's a chest. There you go. All right. We'll try twin shot. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't switch over or turn on my thing there. So now I can either go more bullet speed so that they move faster or have a higher rate of fire. I think I want to go higher rate of fire. And... Now what? Oops. Okay, I blew up the explodey things on the side. Um. Oh, okay. Here we go. I don't remember seeing that there. I like this game. I like this game a lot. I'm looking forward to playing this with somebody. And Venomer. Grab that damage crystal. Thank you. Alright, we're done. I think we'll do one more level. And uh, we'll see 
we'll see how it goes because I really want to try and remember when I get uh, close to level four. I'm gonna watch that XP. The music is good. I, I like the music. The sound effects are weak. I like the colors. It feels unique. Uh, controls are really good. Here, I'm gonna try and kite these guys over here. Come at me, bro. I'm not a fan of this gun. Yeah, I do wish the guns sounded louder. Okay, we got one down. Healing crystal. Let's grab that. Just watching my health. It's, uh, or not my health, my XP. We're okay. Oh, there's dots? I didn't notice that those were dots. Oh, that's right. It's a poison. Okay. Nice. I am a fan of that. So I don't have to... Uh, I don't have to shoot constantly. I don't have to constantly fire. See, I think this would be awesome when you've got, like, four... Or, yeah, four people, and everybody's got a different kind type of gun. This, this could just be absolute chaos. Watching the XP bar, watching the XP bar. We can go with auto rifle. Let's see how this one shoots. It's probably... It's decent, but I kind of like the Envenomer. Oh, uh, let's use this. Open up this chest. Okay, we are roughly halfway. Okay. Got a damage crystal. So I, I have the choice between the Envenomer or the auto rifle. I feel like I want to go with the with the Envenomer. I think that's really cool. Where's the next room? Ah, here we go. Oh, no. Watching my XP. We're good. Why is... Uh, Bravd in chat is saying, Brosif, Broheim. He's trying to get my attention. wonder what the pluses under the weapon name are. Let me go look. That was in this room, right? Oh, it's gone now. Oh, I see it down on the very bottom. Okay. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know what the pluses are. Yeah, if the weapons get upgrades, that'd be cool. Alright, watching my XP. Only halfway through level 3. Twin shot. We'll go with twin shot. How many pluses? That has one plus under... I don't know. I think Envenomer is much better. Oh, let's, okay, look at that. It has a it has a 100. And that one has 80. What does that mean? Is that the damage that it does? I guess I'll go with the 100. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of the Envenomer. Now, this little symbol right here makes me think I'm supposed to do something. Also, the 80 is green. That's... Okay. Oh, I wonder if green is better than the Envenomer had. That's blue. Is it blue? Or is it white? Yeah, it's the color of the of the of the like the surrounding thing, not the text. So that's blue. Blue is generally better than green in most games. 
Uh, we will see, though. They're coming after me. Come on, dodge. Let's take these guys out. Got him. Let's look at the XP. We're doing good on XP. Take that healing crystal. Is there, uh, we'll go this way. Uh oh, uh oh. Don't let him get me. Okay, we're safe. Oh, I didn't even notice there's a map up there. Up there. Okay, we're... I'm gonna stop this when I get to level 4. I just want to see what happens if there's a tie in the votes. Got that damage crystal. Alright, actually, I think that's probably long enough. Um, this is a very, very cool game. I like it a lot. I like the top-down aspect of it. I like the bright colors. The music is very good. My only complaint... And, uh, actually, let's leave. Main menu. Uh, my only complaint about this, about this game is the fact that it seems like you can only play local multiplayer. And the guns are really weak in, in the way that they sound. Uh, so, am I starting from complete scratch? Let me just, I've already gone through this. I just want to check and see if the game is different this time. Because that seemed like it was exactly the same. And I'd really only be interested in this if it's a roguelike. Or it's different every time. I feel like this is different. Like those are not weapons or uh, enemies that I saw last time, I don't think. Anyway, I've got more playing to do. I'm going to talk about this on the podcast uh, at some point. I'll probably mention it on today's podcast because I'm recording like right after this. But I'll, I'll play it some more and let everybody know what I think. But uh, that is No Reload Heroes. Very, very fun game. I'm a fan. And Twin Stick Shooter, Roguelike, uh, Drop In, Drop Out, Multiplayer. That's good stuff. If, if it had online, it would be a must-buy. And actually, it's already a must-buy, if you ask me. Just because it's so, so cheap. You can get it currently on the eShop for, I think, a buck. And if you've got 100 gold coins on the eShop, then you can get this game for free. Anyway, if you didn't know I've got a podcast, you can check out over at uh, runjumpstomp.com, so make sure that you head on over there. I'll see you all next time. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.